This is a weekly reading for Aries. I've got Aries. So let's see. Um, we have five songs. Um, I'm going to pick the one off the top. <laughs> um, let's see. Green Day, Wake Me Up When September Ends. So I will have the other four listed below as well as that song. So you can check them out, vibe to them, add them to playlists, whatever you want to do with them. And let's get started on the reading. Um, your week as a whole is going to be the Six of Swords. Alright? So, uh, Six of Swords is um, hmm. travel trans... Transition, transition. <laughs> can't talk today. Um, movement in a positive direction. Progress made, leaving uh, behind like the past or somebody who's toxic. Um, results on the horizon, transitions, and moving on. So it's an Aquarius. In Mercury, so this, like, you could be leaving a job, you could be leaving a situation that's just not working for you. Um, because their signs, you know, they're more like if they feel moved to do something, they'll do it. Um, or if something doesn't work out, you know, they'll they'll leave. Like, it's not like it's binding, so you know, it's one of those things. Um, then we have, let's see, uh, we have something unexpected that will arise. We have a star. That's also an Aquarius thing. Maybe you have an Aquarius in your life. Maybe, like, they could be coming into your life or they could be leaving your life. I don't know what's going on. Could be a friend, could be somebody, a potential um, person, either job or romantically related. Um, so, let's see. Um, star res resilience. You get what you want. Um, dreams coming true. Health improvements. Hope for the future. Faith. Um, wishes granted. Rejuvenation. So, um, this, this could be, um, just, you know, a breath of fresh air to, um, or, you know, inspiration of some kind. Maybe you have inspiration to, like, work harder or get a job done or get a project done or get something that you always wanted to do done. Um, so it just gives you an opportunity to do that. We have, uh, number three, which is how to stay grounded and balanced this week. The Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, conflict with those you care about. Um, give up, hate from people you don't know, uh, destroyed confidence, overwhelmed, uh, a, a competitor who tries to ruin your reputation. So it's, uh, Leo and Mars. This could be somebody who's prideful too. It's like, um, you know. But at the same time, if this person's too prideful, this could be, like, making you look at yourself like, I don't want to be an asshole, like, I want to stay humble, like, you know, you don't want to, like, overdo it, you don't want to, like, brag or anything, um, let, let other people brag for you, like, if you do a good job, let them congratulate you and let other people be salty. You know, but, um, I feel like this is just giving you, like, a mirror so that you're like, I don't want to be like that because, you know, it's just terrible. Um, it looks terrible on the outside, and that's going to humble you and keep you grounded, I feel. Alright, number four, important emotion you will feel this week. You have a two of cups. And two of cups, uh, Cancer and Venus. So, true love, um, mutual feelings, soulmates. Unity, um, good friendships, partnership, connection, feelings being shared, um, happy relationships. So it's four. Uh, uh, 
that's always a good feeling to have. Let's see, number five. So it's going to be a seven of cups for something that will inspire you. So seven of cups is good choices being made, having options, searching for purpose, decisions you're happy with, being in a position to choose from a variety, choices, and daydreaming. So this is a Scorpio and Venus. So um, you could have a lot of options. You could have a lot of things coming in, maybe romantic, maybe job offers. Whatever the case is, you're going to have to choose what you want, and it could be a little bit overwhelming. Um, but I do feel like you're going to be inspired to either, you know, pick one or make your own way, or pick somebody from like a romantic, you know, smorgasbord. Let's put it to you that way. So, you know, you kind of have your pick of the, you know, thing. Um, let's see, we have number six. How your spirit guides speak to you this week. We have the Princess of Swords in reverse. Let's see, um, it's in reverse, so let's see. Um, gossips with ill intent, spies on people. Um, manipulation is a two-faced all talk. Um, Deceit spends too much time. Um, it spends too much time ju judging everyone else. So this could be. This could be a challenge. This could be like your spirit guides talking to you through somebody who's like an acquaintance at work, and you kind of have to like. Um, it could be a trial challenge. Actually, it's a spiritual. A challenge um, in and of itself. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just you have to change somebody's negativity so it doesn't wear off on you or it doesn't make you feel bad in some way, shape, or form. Or you don't want them talking about you so you're gonna like ease them out so that they're not spreading gossip or lies about you. So you lose your job or you lose a chance with somebody you really like. You know, you're going to have to um, diffuse that person so that they're not going to be, like, really shady with other people or you or somebody else. Uh, it could be, like, your mission to, um, you know, just make sure that that doesn't become a long-term issue and that person's okay. Okay, um, how to best support yourself this week? We have the Ace of swords. Ace of swords, um, great love, clarity, things moving quickly, exciting ideas, everything beginning to take shape, medical treatment, breakthrough, and sharp-minded. So, let's see. Hmm. It could be that you're well-liked as a person and you try to help people out but I do feel like um, you might be in either like an HR type role at work or you might be like a guidance counselor or you might be somebody who works in the medical field or like just like in a place where you help people a lot. Could also be a male person. But I do feel like um, you have a either a service job or you have like a like, almost like a, you know, charity or, like, a business that a lot of people go to. Like, you're going to be helping some people. You're going to feel like you're a well-liked person by most people because either you're helpful, you're kind, you're nice, you're loving, you're um, always putting, you know, right ideas forward, thinking about other people, um, trying to make sure that everything is good in your in your life and people surrounding you. So, um, Aries, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below and I will read those. Thank you for watching. Bye now.